Hey, what's up, guys? Here's a video of my forklift I uh, got. It was having an issue with um, taking a while to go forward and backwards. You'd have to hold the gas, uh, you know, on the switch right here, the mono, whatever the heck it's called, monotrol switch, whatever, and just sit there and wait. And then it would finally, after a while, start to get moving. And I think it was because the pr pressures were real low uh, because of the inching valve was I guess bypassing the pressure to the clutches uh, I was only getting 70 psi on the gauges um, on the 2A test port uh, the 2 test port I was getting 90 psi 90 to 100 something like that so that was good but on the other um, on the 2A gauge I was getting 70 psi but I took the engine valve apart which was uh, two elevens. this plate comes off and then the spring and a um, there's a couple springs and a rubber washer and a double spring and a shaft and then there's a I guess a metering valve tube I don't know what you could call it that's in between this side of the inching valve and that side there's a 19 uh, bolt or um, plug or whatever that comes out and there's another spring and uh, shaft or whatever that pushes that um, the inching valve I guess left and right uh, opening up the ports and inside the transmission to the clutches and stuff so I got um, that taken out it was stuck on this side uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't come undone I had to put an um, extension in there from a 3 8 ratchet and hammer it and then it popped out I tapped it lightly I didn't blast it so um, and eventually it worked its way loose pulled it out cleaned it up put some hydraulic fluid on the o-rings and then uh, reinstalled it. Uh, it was kind of a pain. Coming out was easy because everything was binded up and it didn't spring out. But once I uh, got it uh, unwedged or whatever and then cleaned it up and put it back in, it was kind of a pain holding all the springs in there while you bolt these two uh, 11s back on this uh, flange that holds the engine valve in there. I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of dark. So there's two 11s right there. So I got it all put back together and I fired it up and the pressures were, were uh, where they should be from what the repair manual says. But I'll fire it up for you guys and show you what I got. Let me break on. Here's my gauges. Um, the right one is the 2A test port, and the left one is the uh, 2 test port. Um, I got these over at Harbor Freight. Had to buy some adapters from Ho uh, from from uh, Home Depot. It's a uh, quarter inch flare fitting um, mail to quarter inch uh, plumber I guess um, whatever the heck it's called regular quarter inch plumbing like on air hoses and stuff uh, and then I, it's a reducer to an eighth inch which that's what the oil pressure uh, gauge is is eighth inch so so it's two fittings you gotta buy and then you thread it in I had to buy it for both ports for both gauges so I think it came out to like seven bucks or something because the kit didn't have the right size but I'm gonna fire it up and let's check the pressure to see what happens
That's it. This thing needs some work, man. I got it in a barter. Um, did some work for a guy, and he gave me this. Had a drum that was locked up. And then the uh, it would take forever to go forward and backwards. So there's a it's kind of hard to see it. But that, that's it, guys. I'm gonna drop it down and take it for a test drive. See if it works. Hopefully it does. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Subscribe, um, like it, and uh, share it with all your friends. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.